Hello, hello, ladies. So today I'm showing you all how I detangle my hair. So I'm going to be using Tresemme um, Pro Hydration Conditioner. And as you can see, I'm just about out. I have my hair separated into four sections just to make it a little bit easier for myself. As you can see, um, yeah, this stuff is a mess. I haven't detangled my hair in about four weeks now, so I'm really not looking forward to this process. So the first thing I like to do is get my hair moisturized, drenched in water, as drenched as possible. And then I go in with my conditioner and kind of smooth it on my hair. And once I have my conditioner on, I like to go through my hair and just kind of roughly finger detangle it just to get any knots, tangles out. If you just go straight in with your comb, then you're probably gonna cause breakage. So I'm just going in, roughly finger detangling it. my hair roughly finger detangled I take my comb next and I comb it from the tip to the root do not I repeat do not go from root to tip you will regret it you will rip your hair out so just do it this way but if you come and tell me your hair is bald you bald headed that's not gonna be my fault because I told you next I go in with my Denman brush and I do the same thing as what I did with the comb so I'm going from tip to root say that with me ladies tip to root and I'm tangling it. And I'm using my fingers as a guide as well, just for extra, you know, assistance, because sometimes we need a little extra help. We need some extra help sometimes. I do. So once I'm done with that, I go through and I finger detangle it again, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. The best way to really know if your hair is tangled is to use your hands. And once I'm done, I twist that section up Clip it up and move right on. I'm applying more water because it is starting to dry out. Getting it drenched, adding my conditioner. With the front, I do it a little bit differently. I go through it and I kind of section it off into smaller sections. The way that my texture is in the front is a little bit different than the back and it tends to get tangled really easily. So by me going in and kind of doing these little subsections, that helps me a whole lot. do the same thing kind of go through pull each thing apart and run my fingers through it to make sure I didn't miss any tangles and then I go in with the comb tip to root subsections again and went through it with my Denman brush. Twist that section up, I clip it up, and then I move on to the next one. Detangling natural hair, man, I'm telling you, it can be a lot of work. If anyone told you going natural is going to be easy, they lied to you and you need a refund. <laughs> no, keep your money. You don't need a refund. But it can be difficult, especially detangling. It can be frustrating. I understand. But if you take the time to do it, then you'll notice differences in your hair, more growth over time. And it's easier to style your hair when it's detangled as well. Last section, 
You're almost there. You did it, sis. Keep going. Man. Natural hair is work. You will get some muscles on those arms. Because detangling thick hair, that is a workout. You don't even need to do push-ups if you're doing that. Seriously. Just get a comb or use your hands and detangle that hair and you will be straight. So I'm all done. I didn't use as much conditioner as I thought I would. So this is my hair. Everything's washed out. The overall process, I would say it took about 30 minutes real time. 30 minutes isn't that bad, considering I haven't detangled my hair in about a month. So something I'll probably never do again. Never wait that long. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on how to detangle your hair or how I detangle my hair, please feel free to comment below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Slimmy912. Thank you all for watching. See y'all later.